I am in Mexico. See him crawling around? These Hawaiian feet. Hey, look who I caught. That I can see movement. Enjoy this awesome. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything on the aquarium hobby, and your boy's definitely got a banger for you guys today. I am in Mexico. Yeah, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We're out here for a wedding. Alyssa and Jeff, shout out to them. So, while we're out here in the wedding, I figured, you know what? I shoot some content for you guys. I mean, beautiful ocean water. I mean, we're talking 78 degrees. It's so warm right now. Remind me of back home in Hawaii. I had to shoot the intro in the ocean. These Hawaiian feet needed sand in between the toes. I tell you, it's something about being grounded with Mother Earth. I'm gonna show you guys my view, okay? I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys my view from the ocean. Oh my gosh, would you look at this view, huh? Look at all these beautiful resorts right off the shore. Look at them all, all the way down the coast. And you can see the ocean and this rock jetty here. From the ocean here, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where our room is. We're in this building here and our suite is right there on one of the corners there. Probably the second floor from the top. And then I'm gonna show you some video of it from our room to the ocean. See that? That's pretty wild, right? So that's where we're staying. Now, let's talk about this rock jetty behind me, okay? There's a ton of crabs on there. Oh, hell no! I was looking at the rocks and I can see movement. So I actually studied the rocks. I got really close to them and there's a bunch of crabs. I can't get too close because they run away in the cracks. But as you can see right there, there's a bird over my shoulder trying to scoop up these crabs off of the rock. Let me flip the camera around, okay? And I'll show you guys what's going on on these rocks. We'll get some crab rock action. So check out the crabs on the rock here, okay? I'm gonna try to keep it steady here so you can see all of the crabs on the rock. You see them? They're crawling around all over the rock here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Let's try to zoom in some more. There you go, you see them? Look at the crabs, they're all over the rock here. And then as you look up slowly, right up here, you got this bird. This bird of prey is trying to eat the crabs. So it's sitting over here perched getting ready or trying to scoop up some of these crabs that are crawling around on the rocks. You can see them right here. Look at them. See them crawling around, picking up on little particles on the rock. Look at them all. Just a ton of crabs though. Man, I wish I had a crab trap. Throw that out there, probably scoop up so many crabs. They're all on the rocks, especially these rocks right here. We're probably about 200 yards off the shore here. There's this rock jetty out here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some diving. Oh, look at all the crabs, they're like racing. Look at them all. I don't know if they're breeding or fighting or fighting for food, but you can see all of the crab action here. We'll zoom up on these guys. I don't know what kind of crabs they are. Definitely can be used for some really good bait if we we're fishing. Look at them all. They're pretty wild, right? Got our first wildlife, but we're trying to see some fish. You trying to see some fish too? Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to see some fish. Anyways, we're gonna go do some diving up over here. See if we can uh, see some fish down by the rocks, all right? So before I go diving, looking for some fish underwater with the snorkel and mask, I'm gonna show you guys around the resort, all right? Enjoy this awesome B-roll of where my wife and I are staying. Absolutely love it. We've never taken a vacation ever. And this is our first little break away. And actually, first time leaving the country too as well. So anyways, enjoy the B-roll, hit it.
All right, I'm gonna show you a little aerial shot. And as you can see the rock jetty, it goes out, kind of breaks up and then goes across. I'm gonna show you a picture of what it used to look like when they first built this resort. And you can actually see how perfect it was. And then if you look at it now, how mother nature has taken its course and pretty much broke up this section here, a lot of this section over here. There was probably a really big surf day. You can see it over here too as well. Swells were probably coming in, moving the rocks and breaking them down, but it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy what it used to look like to what it looks like now. Oh, right, my Ohana. So we're gonna take a dive down in the ocean. See if we can find some fish, okay? Um, it's kind of a nice, uh, nice little area here to do some snorkeling, but it may be a little whitewashed because you got some waves coming in here. So, you know, just bear with me. We're gonna see. Woo, how it looks down here, under the sea. Here we go. All right. Whoa, that was amazing. Okay, here at the Garza Blanca Resort, you have to be on top of your game. You gotta know and be aware of what's going on around you because this beast of a reptile just ran right in front of us, scared the hell out of us, claws scratching on the concrete, and then went head first diving into this little pond outside of the resort. Look how gorgeous, this thing is probably over two feet from tail to head. Somebody's pet, literally somebody's pet. This thing will probably go for at least a couple hundred dollars if you were to buy him like in the States at a pet store. But look at the green, absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you wanted to know, just a little fun fact on how long an iguana can hold its breath underwater, don't try to wait one out because it can hold its breath up to 30 minutes long. There's a bunch of critters out here and you gotta be aware of uh, what's going on in front of you when you're walking. 
Check this out. Okay, so now we're sitting in the lobby and I noticed this little thing crawling on the ground. I thought it was a spider at first, but it's a baby crab. Look at him. So I'm like running around trying to chase this dude. He's super fast. My wife is like, get yourself together. What are you doing? And I said, hey, I got to save this little baby crab. I don't want anybody stepping on him. I mean, he's so tiny and he's so far from the beach. So what I did was, you know, going to take him down to his home. Look at the scene. Look at that beautiful beach. Gosh, it's gorgeous out here. And we're going to walk him down and set him down in the sand closer to the ocean. Yeah, look how far he was. Absolutely so far. Look at him. His little pinchers, they can't even affect you because he's so little. And he's just crawling around, enjoying his little ride. I had to do this for Mother Nature. You know what I mean? We had to save one of her, you know, her little creatures that she made. So we're going to go ahead and walk down the stairs down to the beach. And we're going to set him right down here in the sand and as you can see the size comparison that's somebody's footprint and you can see how little he is compared to the footprint now he's probably about 15 or 20 yards off the shore where, where the water is he can definitely sense it so i'm not worried about him good luck little buddy well my ohana i hope you guys enjoyed this video did something a little different first time i've ever been in mexico but not only that though did some diving for you guys didn't run into any sharks or any predators thank god but you know they're here as you can see the water's coming through the rocks it's so cool out here i think i'm just gonna sit here all day i don't care i miss the ocean i hope you guys enjoyed this video wanted to take you on this little trip with me anyways take care of my ohana love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video much love and aloha <laughs>